Boom, shakalaka, laka, laka. We're back at you guys. It's Nick, nothing but Niners. Guys, I'm joined with Scott today, man, and we, we are going to talk the 2018 NFL draft and what we think the 49ers should do for edge rusher, edge rusher, edge rusher. Scott, what's going on, my man? Not much, mate. Excited to talk about edge rushers. I think it's a real position of need, and there's a lot of really, really talented guys coming up this year who uh, could really improve the 49ers at that spot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I definitely think that um, that is one of our priorities this year. We've talked about edge rush. We've talked about cornerback. We've heard receivers. We've, you know, we've heard it all. Um, do we want to get better in every phase, every aspect of the game? Absolutely. Um, but there's some big names out there this year for, for the edge rushing position. I mean, you got Chubb, Landry, Davenport, Key. I can't even say the Okarunawawo, <laughs> however you say his name. And I just messed it up, so that's probably who we'll draft. Uh, Tere, Holland, Hercules, Matafa. Man, there's a lot of sleepers also. I mean, some of those guys are sleepers that we can probably get late rounds. But let's talk about what you would do if you were the 49ers general manager and you were John Lynch and, I, and I'm Kyle Shanahan right now. What would we talk about and who would we want to take from watching what we've watched on these guys? Let's say we're – let's just go with the 10th pick, all right, just to play safe. So we're not going to jump up nine to nine. We'll just say we have the 10th pick overall when once the coin toss is done. Who are you taking? Are you taking a pass rusher at number 10 overall? And if so, who are you taking and why? Yeah, I, th I think I am. I know we've drafted defensive end a lot. I know there's a lot of talk about us taking linebacker with Foster. I think that would be my other avenue at this stage is, is potentially linebacker. But I think ultimately we, we've seen now in the, in the NFL, if you look at the top sack getters, the top pass rush in the NFL, they're early round guys. These are top of the draft athletic studs who come on in and they, they transform a defense. So I'm, I'm genuinely very keen to see the 49ers draft a defensive end. And then it basically becomes which guy. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're talking, you're talking miles Garrett type, you're talking, you know, even DeForest Buckner. I mean, these guys transform a defense. They you want to build around them. Um, I'm personally going to go edge rusher as well. Um, as big as I don't want to, I don't want to draft a defensive lineman um, first overall. But it is definitely, definitely something we need. It's not that um, I don't think we need other positions, um, but I think pass rush, a good pass rush, can make your secondary better. Um, not that we don't need a corner, and we'll talk about this later. And Mike and um, Eric Crocker just put out a, a video yesterday, I believe, on DBs and what to look for and stuff like that. So go make sure you check that out and go watch that. Um, that's in our video section. Um, check out Mike and Croc did a great job over there with that. But for me, I am definitely going to go with a edge pass rusher type player. Um because I think it's a huge need. I mean, we we barely our Elvis Dumerville led our team with what five and a half sacks um, last year, four and a half, five and a half, something like that. So, which Mike and I had an argument in the beginning of the season that Dumerville wouldn't even make this team. Yet he ended up being the highest pass rusher that we had on this team this year and his efficiency. So, um, can we fill that spot in free agency? Yes, I think we can. But I also think that. Um, that we can also up, we, you can never have enough pass rushers. So um, I'm going per, pass rush probably first as well, um, unless unless we pick up a pass rush in, in free agency, obviously. And I'm going to go and I would go corner next. But um, Scott, who do you think who do you think the 49ers would take? If me and you are sitting here talking, who do you think you as John Lynch or Kyle Shanahan would take drafting a, a edge rusher at number ten overall? Um, I have a real debate on my hands, I think, because I think Nick Chubb, Brad Chubb, even Bradley Chubb, not Nick Chubb, Bradley Chubb is likely to be off the board at this point. So the top guys are, is probably a Harold Landry type, uh, Mark Davenport. And then you kind of ask yourself, well, what about Arden Key? Do we trust his off field? If I was John Lynch, given the Reuben Foster situation, I wouldn't be trusting Arden Key's off field. Apparently he might not love football that much. I'm not prepared to risk another first round pick on a guy who is going to be out of the building 
because he's been suspended or just because he doesn't want to be there. So it's Landry and Davenport. And I think it's an interesting debate because Landry, I think, is much more of an instant impact. I think he's going to come on in straight away and be a stud off the edge. Um, he's had injury issues. It would be worrying. I think he's a little undersized, but that kind of ability just to explode past the outside shoulder of a tackle and his ridiculous ability just to dip underneath tackles at full pelt, turn the corner and get to the quarterback is kind of prototypically what you want your Leo to be doing. But on the other hand, there's Marcus Davenport, who is probably not going to come in and be as exceptional and as devastating as Andrew Howard Landry might be. But I think long term will be a better player. I think he's just got freakish physical tools. He's huge. He apparently is going to be, I think he's about 260 pounds now, having played at about 250 in college. His physique is exceptional. He's got enormous arms. He's hugely powerful. He converts speed to power better than pretty much any of the guy in this draft, except maybe Chubb. And I think, especially if the 49ers sign someone in free agency, Davenport should be the pick because he doesn't have to come in and play every down. But I do think he'd be a stud at, at, as a base down Leo because he's a, a exceptional at kind of working back as a kind of contained defender. He's got a lot of frame to kind of keep guys off him, but he's not as good at the point of attack. So that's worth considering. But I personally would take Davenport because I think he's got a ridiculous upside. I think he's going to be a top 10 edge player by kind of year two. Uh, with development in the scheme. He showed at the senior bowl that he takes to coaching really well by Thursday and then game day. He was a stud. Um, so I think Davenport would be my pick because I think he can develop. Dumerville can help him out. I think you've got Cassius Marsh there. You've got Eli Harold there. You start building that kind of stable of edge rushes and I think Davenport would be a force. While I agree with you that Davenport is by far one of the best coming out this year, I'm not sure he's going to be there at 10 because let's just say, let's just say four quarterbacks go off, right? Um, let's say Saquon Barkley, obviously. Let's say Bradley Chubb. Let's say Quentin Nelson. That's seven right there. You got, <clears throat> I know the latest mock came out with Davenport going to Denver. Um, I'm just not sure if he's going to – if we're at nine, possibly, it's going to be, be between Chubb and pass rush, which is also another big thing because that's what I really needed to debate on um, is offensive line versus defensive line taking in the draft. But um, so um, – but I agree with you. I think he is by far the best option that we can have. But Landry – Behind him isn't that much off. If one or the other fall to me, I'm completely grace, grateful for both of them. I think you're going to get more out of Davenport. I think the, the faithful want Davenport more than they want Landry. Um, but if they go another way, there's no reason to be be nervous about that because if they go, if they completely shift away from defensive ed or edge rusher type player, it's okay because this there's a lot of guys in here that we can easily get in the second round. There's there's another guy we can get in the second and possibly even the third that are still half decent pass rushers. So faithful, don't worry if we don't take an edge rusher rusher in the first. But Scott, I can't even really debate you on this one because Davenport or Landry, obviously Chubb. So Chubb, Landry, Davenport are obviously easily the top three. Arden Key, I definitely agree with you. Don't mess with the off field issues. If he doesn't want to play football, don't play football. It's that simple. We don't need any more, uh, you know, Alden Smith's, Reuben Foster's uh, type of accusations and uh, Tremaine Brock's accusations and stuff like that with this team. We're trying to build a new culture. We don't need that kind of stuff. So Arden Key, athletically, great player. Off-field issues, not sure what they are. Just heard a lot of rumbling that it's off-field issues as he doesn't really know if he wants to play football. He doesn't act like he wants to be there. I don't want any of that. Mike Singletary says, we want winners. We want people that are going to play the game to win. So, um, Scott, I really can't argue the fact with Davenport, Landry, or Chubb, but I really can't. Any three of those I will be happy with completely um, as that number 10 overall pick. Yeah, I, Chubb's, a, Chubb's a weird one for me because I think he's 
I, I, I kind of almost would prefer the other two guys um, in some sense. I think Landry's more of a pure Leo, but the same can be said for Davenport. The uh, same can be said in comparison to Davenport. Landry's like a pure edge bender type guy. And that's there's one thing that's it's like, well, maybe he should be the best guy. Uh, whereas Chubb and Davenport are more similar in the sense that they're kind of, they're a bit more, they can defend, they're a bit better against the run. They're a bit more powerful, they're a bit more straight lines. They kind of, they can overwhelm tackles in a way that Landry, for example, cannot. He's more of a, he beats them athletically. Um, I kind of think, I think Davenport might have more upside than Chubb. And that's why that debate is an interesting one as well, because again, it's partly just the physical tools um, that he has just, just mean that he might, he might be a better selection. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, Chubb's a consensus guy. If he fell to us, I think I would take him because he's, he's that, he's got so much ability. He can play strong side end. He can play weak side end. Uh, he's got polished pass rush repertoire, but I would, again, I'd be seriously considering either of the other two guys because Landry's got that edge bending and Davenport's got that crazy, crazy upside. So being realistic, if any of those three are there and you're taking pass rush, you, you're, you're happy with one of them. Yeah, definitely. Right. So, um, yeah, and that's what I was saying. I mean, I, I agree with you that um, Landry and uh, – or Chubb and Davenport are similar. They just have different uh, athletic ability. Landry's just quick as shit. I mean, the guy is like a missile coming off the line of scrimmage. Um, so definitely, definitely helps. Um, but yeah, I can't argue with you on that. I can't argue the fact that if any of those three are there at number 10, I'm taking a pick on them. Um, and and like I said, this, this can all change depending on what we do in free agency. So um, I'm fine with uh, us taking a, a – uh, I am fine with us taking a edge rusher at ten overall, though. Yeah, I, th I think I think it's interesting though that there are guys that we could take later. Um, it's not kind of a really top crazy top heavy position where there's three guys at the top and then you're kind of picking through the trash at the bottom trying to find some traits somewhere. There are genuine talented pass rushes low down in the draft, and I think that's something that again the 49ers will have to weigh up in their minds is depending on what happens in free agency, can we, do we take a guy who plays a, a Barnett style role where he's just a third down edge rusher? Because I think that's sort of when you start getting into like Okoronkwo, Ture, Jeff Holland and Hercules Matafa is they're not going to be every down contributors straight away. They're going to have to sit on the bench on first down, second down, and then we're going to bring them on the field on third down when they're fresh as pass rushes. And I think then it's, it's going to be interesting to see if that, if that's the route they go. Because if they take a Ziggy answer in free agency, you go, okay, then, well, we're not going to sign take a guy early on in the, in the draft, probably. We're, we're going to say, okay, let's, let's wait, let's bide our time, and let's take one of these toolsy, slightly less polished or slightly less athletically gifted options in the kind of the mid rounds. And I think, I mean, Okoronkwo, Ture, Holland, Matafa could all be there in round three where we're picking. You know, there's not a, a mad rush to get those guys. So they're interesting. I personally like probably Okoronkwo the most because again, he's he's got that, you know, crazy as shit speed that, that Harold Landry has. It's mind blowing when you see him kind of explode off the line and turn the corner. But Kamiko Ture's got that at times, but has had injury issues. And, and Jeff Holland, Jeff Holland occasionally flashes that, but at the same time, he looks kind of lardy, which is weird. Um, I probably wouldn't like to see him in the street and tell him that to his face. But I think he's he's not got like the polished sort of lean physique of any of the other guys that we've spoken about so far. So you like Okoronkwo? Is that how you say it? Okoronko? I think I think so, yeah. Okoronko. Okay. All right. Well, that's better than how I bashed it in the beginning because I just definitely couldn't see it. I like him, but I also like Matafu. I mean, I like his speed. I like his side sideline to sideline speed. Um I just I just overall like him. Um I mean, go check him out. Check out some highlights from him, guys, because uh I like him as well. But like you said. 
Scott, they those those four guys could easily be there in in round three, um, if we we get an An Ansa or Demarcus Lawrence. I know it's probably not possible, but that's who I really, really want. But we'll talk about that later on another video. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Scott, I mean, I think we pretty much narrowed it down to Chubb Landry, Davenport, um, possibly Arden Key could be in in, in round one. Um, maybe just not for the 49ers, but I'm saying overall in round one. Uh, round two, possibly round three guys, Tere, Holland, uh, Hercules, Matafu, and there's a bunch of other guys out there. I mean, this 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 draft is pretty deep with them. They're just not high profile names that everybody's used to hearing. Um, but I'm definitely going. If we have to draft pass rush, I'm I'm definitely going with. I'd probably go. Land. Mm, let me get. All right. So here, let's do this. If you if Chubb, Landry, and Davenport are there, right? And let's say you have to take one of them. Tell me who your number one is, who your number two would be, and who your number three would be, of how they would come off the board. If they, uh, I think Chubb would be my one, and then Davenport would be my two, and they would be the closest, and then Landry would be a little bit further back. Okay, uh, three. Yeah, that's what I, I kind of figured. Um, I, I agree with that. I kind of, I definitely agree with that. Chubb, Davenport, Landry in that order. Um, I don't think Chubb will be there. Davenport and Landry is going to be really close to making it to 10, uh, depending on how many quarterbacks are taken, how many quarterbacks are definitely taken. So um, if Cleveland goes and gets A.J. McCarron and they don't want to draft a quarterback, they got another pick to take somebody else there So because um, they have one and four. So they're really going to dictate this draft as well, uh, the Browns are. Um, hopefully we'll never be in that position. Um but yeah, so Scott, do you have anything to finish off edge rushers draft? Yeah, I was going to ask of the of the later guys if you had to choose yeah. order, like what, where would you go? I personally, I personally would go Matafu, uh, Okoronko, Ronquo. That's how you say. I'm bashing this guy's name, and then probably Holland Tere. That's probably the order I would go in. Yeah, so I would I'd probably go Okoronko, Holland. To Ray Matafa simply because right. I, I he's got Matafa's got the traits we've seen him has he's got the explosiveness but he's mainly been inside and that kind of stresses me out a bit especially with like the whole Solomon Thomas thing where I was like yeah okay look we you can see he's explosive in college inside let's see how he does in the NFL against defensive tackles like kind of stresses me out a bit I don't I don't want if we're drafting kind of a, a third fourth round just sort of sorry, like a second, third, fourth round guy. I don't want to be like he. he we we could draft him, and he is not going to contribute at all in any facet of the game because this is what we're taking these guys as: is that they're as pass rushers. Right. And if I'm worried that actually he might not be able to convert at, into a, being a pass rusher, especially in in kind of year one and two, because he just doesn't, he just hasn't played there. The muscle memory is not there. The kind of the plan that he normally would use is just isn't there. Then I'd be a lit. I, I have my reservations about that. I'd rather take a guy like Okoronkwo, a guy like Holland, a guy like Ture, who I know I've seen them literally just on the edge, just go, being told, go, get off the snap, turn the corner, and just get after the quarterback. Than a guy who I, who I would genuinely be worried is not going to do anything in year one, two. Yeah. And I mean, they're legitimate concerns. I mean, we just got done talking about that with Solomon Thomas being, you know, it being you know us drafting him three overall for you know check that in in our last video um you can check that out i think that was posted yesterday um so you can definitely go back and check that one out as well what we had to say about solomon thomas and that kind of goes to what you're saying now you want somebody that has is proven doing this on the outside um rushing the quarterback which makes a lot of sense i just really have a late round draft crush crush on hercules so um, and us over here at MB Niners, guys, it's it's real. It's not – we don't just agree with each other to, other to agree with each other. We all have our likes. We we put that out there. And um, I personally would take Hercules. I know that he hasn't done that as much um, as the other three, um, but that would be my order, probably Hercules, Okoronkwo, Holland, Ture. So I do like Holland Ture as well, though. I like all four of them. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know, Scott, and, and none of us can see what, what's going to happen. And, uh, it's going to be a great off season either way. Um, and it's going to be a fun draft. Hopefully John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan can kill the draft like they did this year. I mean, pretty much every single one of our free agents or drafts from this year competed on field for the entire year, um, except pretty much Joe Williams. So um, hopefully we have a good draft like that again. You got anything else? No, that, that's it. That's all I've got to say, really. All righty. Guys, you know where to find you know where to find us at, guys, and that's uh, nothing but Niners on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button right there down here in the right-hand side corner. You can find us on SoundCloud, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Podbean, all those podcast avenues that we're at. You can also find us at nothingbutniners.com, which has all the avenues and all the invites that you can you can go to for all of our social media. Twitter, nothing but 9ERS, as well as Snapchat, nothing but 9ERS. Instagram, Facebook, nothing but Niners, all spelled out. And the YouTube page. Guys, above all else, stay faithful. We out.